off of this thing like immediately or not immediately but next turn we can like cast things off the top and that's always what I like to see when I turn to conspicuous noob I want to see a land and then I want to see goblins for the next six cards <laughs> All right, let's see if they just lightning bolt this snoop. They might. Okay, so they fetched out an island, and then they passed. Oh, I guess they're waiting to see what's on top of our deck. Yeah, see, like, this this has happened twice now, where... There we are. Jesus Christ, there we are. All right, all right, all right. There's a lot of people talking and a lot of people like actually playing these things right now. But I, I do do want to do this so badly as well. So I'm just going to go and do it. Um, oh, got a nice health beer over here so it's a drinking stream and I can tell you most of the streams are gonna be drinking streams nowadays because every day is fucking Friday oh. all right don't the only thing I think I would like to do is get a Gracchus here somewhere um, and that is about it, though. Seems good. Mics, oh, whatever. If sound is not good, I hope someone complains. But yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and play this. I have enough. Have enough for league. Legacy, legacy. God, haven't played a Ling in such a long time. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. I'm going to lift this over there. So I can actually see what's going on. And there we are. And I'll keep checking Discord, because whatever. <laughs> Right, hold play, sweet. Lucky matron, sweet. And depending what on what happens, this matron can get a Muxus. So we'll see. Okay. Oh, okay. So, could be a Delver deck with boats, then getting Muxus would be extremely greedy, or it could be combo. Okay, so it's combo. Um, which probably means I get Muxus, to be honest, right? It's like my best insurance against your Intel. Yeah. 
so many goblins in the deck, that is so sweet. Uh, yeah, why not? They're reading Muxes, okay. <laughs> Why is this volume so loud? Is that the right one? There we go. Stop it! There we go. <sighs> okay, so they play a lens, so they need... They need a lot to go well, I think. Uh, Unfortunate that they got a basic now. Could draw a port, that would be sweet. And could get a creature maker to destroy that petal, that would be very good as well. Both would be great as well. Uh, I don't think that does anything. I'm just gonna attack. Jesus! One, two, three, four, five. Um, I guess I get sling. <laughs> hey, newbies. <laughs> oh, my man! Uh, it's noob enable the fast clock. You mean Muxus, right? Who's the show and tell deck now? Who's the show and tell deck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get. I'm gonna start counting the mooks when uh, I have some time. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Uh not a huge fan of Charles. I'm kinda sad I don't, didn't get the caracas that I said I would like to get, but what can we do? Uh I don't know if they're playing with Omni Science, so I don't know how good these three cards are. But these cards can go. Oh, we still need more cuts. Sideboarding has gotten harder. Uh. <laughs> Stealing my thunder. Thank you for being a part, being a part of my thunder. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly what I want. The chalices are good on zero. Maybe Snoop is actually not great in the matchup. So this could be a side out for everything that I want. I want the surgicals in case they're playing with. Uh, intuition, or in case I can power blast a show and tell. <sighs> I feel like this is it. Really would like to have um, a Caracas in the sideboard. They are on blue red. Well, I guess this is a keep, right? Okay, you got a... A trap from any... Lotus Petal, Show and Tell, Omniscience, Cunning Wish kind of kill. I don't, okay, my opponent doesn't understand things. 
or to just showing me, oh, I had this, how lucky you are. Just get the whole thing down. <laughs> hey, Eli, have you seen game one already? <laughs> Turn three, concede. <laughs> <laughs> Him is always good. Not that they count on lots of cards to actually win the game, like they just need like two or three, but okay, this is a nice old draw. Uh, yeah, no reason why not to do this first. Get. Yeah, this is uh, Sneak and Show. I mean, they played a petal turn game one, so. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not so great. Um... Do. Is this lethal? So I attack for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This isn't lethal. It would be like 12, 13, 4, 15. It isn't lethal as well. So I. Yeah, I need to play this. And hopefully they don't have um, a. How is it called? Power Clasm effect. Because that would really suck. Okay, so we got <laughs> two turn three kills with Muxus. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, this is a good start. Oh, I didn't take a, a screenshot of Muxus number two. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll take I'll take another screenshot later. I mean, there will be plenty. The card is just that good. So yeah, Eli, you're worried about the mana base and casting your cards. You just get to get covering lucky two games in a row to, co to drop your to put your six drop in play. That's how you do it. Ah, Mux is not gonna get banned. Come on. You need to evolve this whole deck around it. The deck is still soft to. Fast combo either way. Like to play first again. That's great. All right, uh, this is the worst hand. Not even a two drop to start. And I'm playing against. I am playing against a very very slow deck. But I don't think I can keep this either way. I'd rather, yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep this. And I'm tossing the Crater Maker. Even though it's my only two drop, it won't do anything against a control deck. And I'd rather cycle the Gem Palm if they counter this and have all my gas with me. Lovely. I know, I had a Muxus in the first opening. Like, it was almost good enough. Yeah, maybe... <laughs> maybe opponent is in Goblins as well. Who knows? Mm. Alright, I'll, I'll play the fetch.
if they fetch for a non-basic, that's good for me. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna happen. I'm inclined to cycle this incinerator, but I'm not going to anymore since I stopped the fire already. Um, okay, so they, they actually have an answer for this. So they're going to get a duel if they're, they're planning on the bread to king is. There we go. Okay. Okay. So that means I am cycling. Because if I get any two drop, that is very good for me, actually. Yeah. Should have cycled before tapping the vial, I guess. But uh, this is good, this is good. Get more lands would be better. Oh, thank you. I love when you listen to me. I'm gonna start with waste. Maybe this is incentivizes them to force this more, more often than not, but... <laughs> Astro, oh, manipulate fate. Some weird food chain deck? What is this? And yes, it is a food chain with Yurion. Mm. Even though they might play Dead of Winter and things like that, I don't think I can afford to pay for this Yurion food chain. I don't, well, I haven't played, like, leagues in such a long time that... <laughs> Probably just get second ringleader, right? I feel like we're slightly far from Muxuing. Uh, gonna get a war chief, but they can have removal. I hope they don't play with therapy. They don't play with therapy, right? I think I like sling more if I'm getting something to kill them fast with. Because next turn, I'll probably just play ringleader. So... This would give me lethal win the turn after I cast it, and I have to swing with less things, I guess. And all my top decks are good as well. All right. Okay, good thing I didn't pay for that echo then. Oh, come on, man. I want to pour my beer. <sighs> Sling is still more damage because it is for four and two turns, whereas... Uh, ringleader, I mean. Whereas Sling will only hit for three in two turns. There's Muxus, and I can cast it next turn. I mean, I can play the Prospector through a mountain, and if they don't force it, I can... Muxus. <laughs> I mean, I may still lose this game, but I don't, like... I don't know how much I mind. They would have to play food chain into one drop, into two drop, into three drop, and to get infinite mana. It sounds kind of hard. Ah, they cannot kill ringleader. That's funny. Terrible free color decks. 
getting their basics to fight against my land that I don't have anymore. <laughs> the wasteland conundrum. If you fetch to get the land, the dual, you get wastelanded. If you don't, <laughs> you're still land screwed. Not that they could get a basic from that. Okay, it didn't matter that they had. Oh, they're gonna keep that in play. Oh, this kind of sucks. So that means they have food chain, right? And they go to three to four mana. Yeah, if they have a land they and food chain, they can get infinite mana. It's a lot of ifs, still. And then they would have to get a payoff as well. <laughs> cool. Alright. That is actually a smart move because of Power Driver. So well done then. Um, second Cavern is good. Okay, so I play Caverns. I play. Can I play War Chief? And then I play Prospector. Uh, they they probably countered the Prospector then. Yeah, uh, if you play, like, I'm thinking what spells can be forced, because I'm pretty sure they have a force. So, yeah, uh, Mountain Prospector. So, Mountain Prospector doesn't get Muxus to resolve if they force <laughs> Prospector. But I guess I'm not in a terrible situation either way if I just play the Sling Gang, right? You know what? I just want to play Muxus, so I'm going to cover <laughs> Prospector, and then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and yeah, and I'm going to sack two goblins and do it. I don't think they'll force it as well. Okay, let's see. Let's do the force check. They did force it. Okay. This is alright. So as long as I'm not dead next turn. <sighs> like... Good play by them, like for sure. They can elk my sling gang now, so maybe I shouldn't cast it. Hey, lose, lose can books. Thank you for following. Okay, they're just getting some more mana. What did I? They are another Koto. The more life, I guess. To be honest, Muxuing now with Slinging on board, it's very good. It's just unfortunate that I won't have any extra mana. I mean, I can always flip a one of my other two. Have I matroned? I played a matron for dead and then a ringleader. And ringleader gave me two cards. So I don't think I played this fetch. 
Oh, man. Yeah, we may turn for a sling and then we put two cards in the bottom with ringleader the turn afterwards and then we cast the sling gang. Okay. Attempt to speak Danish. Okay, that's something I will do just for you some other day. Pow! All right. <laughs> Just, oh, I love this card. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can in win just with sling. <laughs> uh, uh, they have a food, so I actually have to attack. If they have what? The crack food and. Fatal push, I guess. That would be annoying. Uh, sure. Oh, we could play a second one. So Muxus get to attack. Does that make a difference, actually? I mean, they don't have any more interaction, so it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Okay, so Muxus just won three games in a row. Just just saying. Three games in a row. Oh god. Just gonna take all those noobs out and just put four Muxus in the deck. This is just ridiculous. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's good. So how do we sideboard against this thing? I know I like this. Diving Needle seems kind of terrible, actually. Relic doesn't look like it does much. Maybe Chain Wheeler to kill Kotos. So this is a definite. I could put a trap. No, that sounds bad. The one problem that I have with Snoop is that pretty much every matchup I'm like, yeah, I can shave a Snoop or two. Because I don't want to take anything else out. I don't think I want to take removal or anything with haste. Anything with pro blue. Anything that floods the board. Anything that answers the Plague Engineer. It's quite for food chain. So that's a consideration as well. So, the, yeah, but what's the cuts? I don't, I, zero idea what's the cuts, what the cuts are. Snoop's worse in the draw as well, so I'm pretty convinced that at least two of them need to go. Maybe even all of them. Because I, I seriously want all my other cards. So maybe this for this. Prospector is very good to, to keep the Pyroblast mana up and cast this Yurik squad. I think I want all the Prospectors still. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Time is running low. Um, oh, the Barbarian. 5 0 Snoopy Modern. Yeah, I have a sweet modern list as well that I want to play so badly um, that I think it's better than everyone else's because I'm 
I don't know. I just copy pasted um, Christian's list from some time ago. I'm very inclined to keep this. I think I'm going to keep this. It's a bit on the slow side, but I have two vials and going for port. Any other land I draw, I can waste as well. Sweet. So I don't even have to open any of them so they don't see anything. Any of the mana denial elements. I do not think they play Wastelands. Okay. If they want to decay, they... yeah. It's, that is brilliant again. It's very similar to the first game, but I have a second vial. How inclined I am just to play Lackey. They do have Fatal Push. They showed Fatal Push, so it, it could be just setting me back way too much. Oh, you like Lackey? I, I don't. I like tapping their land that is not black. Okay, that, that changes things. <laughs> No, I cannot keep them off black, but I can make them use their mana, their upkeep, if they want to cast Cut Call Tool. So that is good. And the hand is still decent. So ports have still been very good, even in a list with more oh this is quite good for us do i still tap black does it make a difference i kind of think so uh they, they, they probably have ponder or something like that as well though black does it make a difference uh tell me the arguments i'm gonna tap black then but Koto, okay. You can just kill that if you want to. I guess they have full information of what they were going to do. Oh, they missed the land drop. I'm actually inclined of waiting a turn in this lackey now. Because if I crater maker the the astrolabe with Pashalik Mons in play. I can kill the Ice Fang Kodo as well. That would be very, very good. So is there a way... Like, if I violent... Prospector. Get this up to two. I can do all that. I'm susceptible to force of will though. Uh I I kinda to do that play that I'm talking about next turn, I'm successful to force of will and I don't want to be. So I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. I'm just gonna I get lucky in and I have plenty of good drops. <laughs> and I get fired too. A caverns, you mean, right? A wasteland. Um... Okay, so porting is still going to be very good. I do not want to trade. Um, do I even... I think I played a prospector. Yeah. I was wondering if I wanted to save mana, but... This is fine.
I'm gonna go with Port Black again. Okay. So they don't have a land this turn as well, right? Oh no, they played Ice Fang, so yeah, this is a random card that they got a land from. That's fine. Oh right. This is this is good. Because if they don't see the Pashalik Mons coming down next turn, then I just clear their board. And their mana gets super awkward. I'm not putting anything down right now, so I could just... What's the play? What's the play? Oh, Shivan Minstro, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I can start with Pashalik Mons and then do the play I wanted to do before that basically forces him to trade Ballista, so that would trade Crater Maker and Lucky for Ice Fang Koto, Ballista, and Astrolabe, which I very much like. I don't think I miss anything on doing that. Even if they respond to Pashalik Mons, it's still fine. Prospector of Mana, wherever they ping. Uh, yes, because I'm I'm Crater Makering Astrolabe, and I want a ping from Pashalik Mons. And they cannot kill Astrolabe, the way things are. Yeah. This is perfectly fine. I can... Oh, I save it for next turn. Next turn I can start activating Pashalik Mons, so that is very good. So this goes here. This goes here. So I can port them off blue even next turn, which is awesome. Uh, I can even play you. And the following turn I can even activate... Bushalik Mon's ability in the second Mog, uh, Skirt Prospector, which is very cool. Even if they play Plague Engineer, Plague Engineer just dies. This is so much fun. I'm gonna leave that at free. Can always go up if I need to. Uh, I was thinking about activating Pashalik Mons, but I feel like porting is just better. It's funny that I'm still holding up the expert. That's annoying. Okay. I still think like they're missing on actual mana sources, not just colored mana. So I'm gonna just keep porting. Like the clock's not that slow, it's free turn clock. Oh, okay, <laughs> that makes it a bit better. Yeah, the sports have been very good. Uh, yeah, I go down on... Did 
they're gonna force this. That is fine. They are on virtual for life. But something can happen this turn, though. If they have another decay, that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> they still go to four life in my turn, but okay. Oh yeah, they're dead next turn. Uro, Plague Engineer, Dead of Winter. Uh, okay, that is annoying. It's annoying that I can't activate this. So this game got hard now. Uh, wonder why they forced. Oh, maybe they didn't have that play. I. No, I'm gonna leave this at free. Okay, covering is a good draw. At least it gives me a clock. And now we port green. So if they want to play Oko without playing another land drop. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play this already because if they, they play land Fatal Push, I get punished. Now I got a free turn clock. No land, no land. Oh, there's a land. It's a wasteland. If I draw a land, that's good as well. Ooh, okay, that is good. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is very good. This is very, very good. My dream is for them to tap out for an Oko. One land and one mux is away from winning the game. <laughs> there was no no way I was not. Oh no, they got some cards now. They lost some life. Do I still? <clears throat> Let's see if they put a land in play. I feel like I still go for the beats. <sighs> It's not even why does this card why he can cast that card of Swamp Swamp Island. <laughs> I'm gonna cast this. Too many upsides. Come on. No, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks again. They 
Mr. Lendrop again. Feels like they missed a line drop again. Damn it! Oko, okay. So they can get a free free or a food or a tapped free free. If that's not another Ruro, which it might be. Or a food chain. Oh man, this game. Not how this was supposed to go. We just pricked in the key turns. Uh, to be fair, I still haven't drawn Ringleader or Muxa, so that's four of those and uh, any of the matrons or anything with haste. Or Sling, that would also win the game. So our, our draws weren't great, it was just like this, all this damage was on the back of Bashalek Mons, basically. I, I forgot that this is our Yorion deck, they still have 53 cards in their deck. <laughs> so this can be actually anything, they just have so many cards in their deck. I need to play faster if you want a game free. So I may stop checking chat. I think I'm swinging either way, whatever I draw. Didn't realize I only had six minutes. But this was a really fun game though. Oh my god. have decided featuring okay so they're going for the next turn kill which is fair they probably have a neuro as well in hand this does not do it but they don't necessarily know that oh they're taking it oh this is so bad Got so punished for playing that munition expert. The second one, which I still think it was the right play to do, but. My night that I got six minutes left only for game three. They were an opponent that did not concede game one after I had lethal with sling, so it was just clicking like a silly man. And they're playing food chain, so they probably know how annoying that is. Hmm. Guess taxing their green has been very good this game. <clears throat> yeah, and I can attack for, well, one. Because <laughs> I'm only going to have three attackers. 
uh, to play Euro, they oh they can use the mana from Koto right now to play Euro. Uh, so they have a dead of Winter. That makes me think they have a dead of Winter. So that makes me think they're not gonna go for it this turn. Okay, they play the fetch land. Oh man. I don't have Fnatic. None of my one drops do it. So I feel like I just, if I wait, they, they might decay this. But then I don't port. I feel like I port now. I'm gonna I'm gonna port again. They will have one Uro in the graveyard, right? Yeah. So they can only cast one. I was thinking of <laughs> maybe wastelanding this in response to Uru, so they wouldn't have a. But then, my I may not be able to cast slinking. So yeah, I'm just gonna have six then. Because bearing any interaction, this is lethal. Oh, my man. Jesus Christ. This is so frustrating. So Sling doesn't do it anymore. Gonna go for Moxus. If I go for Uro when... <clears throat> if I ignore Port instead of um, Abrupt Decaying Fio, they can kill my Matron and I don't have Lethal either way. It might have been correct, um, I, I, but I don't think it was correct at the end of the day. Hmm. So let's see what they do with the combo. If they don't have um, a ballista, they don't win, right? So, I guess I just wait. Yeah, turn two Muxus was nicer, right? <sighs> so we have four to five minutes to play the last match, the last game. <clears throat> I'm inclined of. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna let them do this. 
screwed him for not conceding when I had Leva on board and made me click. Um, but yeah, I'm inclined of taking out. I can see my. Uh, E-Rig Squad, because it's a card that takes time, and adds some other things. I just don't know what I would like to have instead. Oh, they do have Ballista. Because dropping, I think I want to trash. I probably bring trash master instead of squad because the clock is roughly similar, and destroying astrolabes has proven to be a very good strategy. I don't think I have time to keep using relic because I have four and a half minutes in the clock, so I don't think I'll bring that. Trashy. But these are a consideration now because, well, it's a card that attacks and do stuff. But I don't know if I don't want to take anything else out. Even though Snoop's that much better in the play. I only have one gem palm so i don't i don't want to go to zero yeah the plan is just mulligan into lackey muxus but in case that doesn't work Removal in general doesn't seem good, right? They only play the cantrip creatures, the ones and the ones that remove from the game. I, I have less than five minutes. I don't want to be squatting. That would take forever. But yeah, do you do you think Snoop is better than? Expert. I could I could actually even see like cutting down to two experts, so I don't care. Because this kills half of their creatures. And I do believe this well, that's to establish a better clock. Kinda one more snoops. I don't want to be searching. I don't think this game we're going to have time for that as well. <sighs> I feel like shaving one of these for a second snoop and just play two and two. I feel like that's fair. I can keep this. I don't like it, but it's what we're going with. Yeah, yeah. We draw a few lands, go plow driver into munition expert, into snoop, even if you don't. Seems okay. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I think I'm stressed about the clock a lot. So I may play poorly. Uh
feel like this is unfortunate, but I'm gonna cast this. Even though it takes time. Yeah, they're Yarian. <laughs> Maybe they just get me turn three. No, okay. So I hope that this lives for a turn so I can get two creatures on play. I feel like that's what they're digging for, either a black source and or uh Bro Decay. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, that would be the play if everything goes right. All right. So I actually don't have to cast anything, so that's sweet. They don't have black mana, which is sweet as well. And they just wasted two mana in this turn. I feel like they have a food chain. Is that right? Well... If this vial keeps seeking up, like, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna destroy vial now. Or cast food chain and try to win. Okay. Oh, sweet! Um... I can do free over there. No. Okay. I'll kill Koto over here and then I can attack one to Oko if I want to. Cover next turn is amazing. So free for Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can beat them for eleven and hold up expert. That sounds very good as well, right? I feel like that's the play. I don't have much time. <laughs> If they have that of winter, this was terrible. So no that of winter here and I'll probably win.
feel like they have a creature that cannot block power driver. Do they have anything else we can expert? That is also true. Ballista for two. Okay. So I can make them use this. Ballista, three, four, five, six, and I kill them. Okay. GG's. Oh, this this noob was very good this game because it gave me discard from the top. Oh. My opponent saying that he had the win. Maybe they don't play Oko and play Food Chain last turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it definitely was a close one. So from what they're saying, they, they could have played food chain instead of this and then just, yeah, made infinite griffings and then cast the ballista. Yeah, and so, so far we've won three games, three games with Muxus and one this this noob was very good like i agree this hand was probably not a kip and from the the cards that we actually played this was a move to three well five four no yeah jesus no if they had actually gone for it uh i would never get priority to use expert and kill anything and even if I did, they just rip on the sack to uh, remove the creature of food chain. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hand was definitely saved by Vile. See? Just, yeah, gotta, gotta trust things sometimes. I just got desperate because of the clock. Like, it, it just took quite a while. Again, I haven't done this in forever. Play Fuching. Now, uh, so how they would play is they instead of Oko, the turn before, they would play Fuching. I think. Third in a row. Ooh, all right. So we're on the play. We got four lands and Muxes. Is these a keep? And this noob turn two, which is decent. Delver. Just four non basics doesn't look like great against Delver. Ah, uh, turn two, Snoop. Goodbye. The hands are not getting better. And they kept. And I lost my coverings now. Can get turn two. Have place for the first few turns. It's unfortunate. But yeah, going to five against Delver is probably not what I want to do. Oh, 
I've actually preferred the first hand because I had caverns. Uh, that's something I'm inclined to porting. It's because I can draw a Vio next turn. And I know that this port is gonna be wastelanded. Okay, it won't. It wasn't. But still, now they either fetch for red or... Oh, Stifles. Oh, well. I, I was going to fetch either way. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not getting a bad lens. Like, if they have waste, they can waste uh, the port. And I can still play Snoop. Land. More Marshall. Okay, so I don't think this waste, the port is doing anything anymore. <clears throat> If it ever was. So I'm just going to play my cards. And I'm going to start this. I think they have more removal in hand. <sighs> I feel like Marble Marsh is the safest play. If I draw another colored mana source, I play Snoop and see if I can hit a one or two drop from it. So this is probably Arcanist. No. True name? Oko? <laughs> goif, goif. What is happening here? Yeah, cool. Okay, so a few things. I feel like this is a game. <sighs> God. You're probably gonna have to kill Oko, which is annoying. And I cannot, even though paying Echo for this is great, I cannot pay for it. And we target Oko, though. Do we go for Oko? Uh, this lets me play Matron, I guess. I can Matron for a Gem Palm to be able to Power Driver and Gem Palm next turn, so that's quite sweet. I'm just, um, I don't think I'm ever going to kill Oko. So I feel like I'm, I'm just going to hit their face. And then we've got a big enough board I can expert Oko eventually. Force. Okay. So first hand with cover and it's looking very good. <laughs> Yeah, um, Rugged Elver doesn't usually have Master Removal game one. They may play one uh, Rough Tumble game two or a uh, Blazing Folly.
so they have a creature for sure all right so this game one is going to be rough green mana jesus christ okay well if this was last turn i could do stuff um it's very unfortunate I feel like I'm going to snoop. If I draw Black Source, I can play these two creatures next turn. If I... yeah. And I need to heap good things from the top. Well, yeah, but Bring Leader wouldn't be amazing as, as well. Like, given my mana situation and their bot presence, we don't have a single one card that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to draw a Black Source, which is very good. And I don't think I'm in position to waste mana, but I'm gonna go for red. I like Mark War Marshall would probably be the best card in case of in, instead of this noob. And well, I already run three of them. Maybe I should run four. Yeah, they may just have lands though. And then we may go Power Driver Slinging next turn, and maybe they make some bad attacks and we just win. Um, I think I need to block at least three of this damage. I can take seven, go to nine. Kind of sucks, because they're going to attack move seven of Trample next turn. But hopefully I gain some life as well. Yeah, they have one card in hand, so they cannot waste me as well. Oh, they cannot force me, which is very good. They have a bolt, I wonder. Uh, they can wait for my draw step, I guess, as well. Oh, they got my Muxus! <laughs> I was not expecting that. So they have a daze on top of their deck. Uh... <laughs> oh, that was funny. Well, I'm gonna hope they don't have a daze in hand as well, to be honest. And I'll just play all my cards. Resolved. <laughs> See, opponent definitely thought that Muxus was good. Okay, so they have a force of negation in the hand now and they're gonna draw a polluted delta so there's a what's the last card snapcaster mage oh man that is so <laughs> how does this work do they reveal everything oh a lightning bolt misty and spell pierce yeah. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Is this their hand then? Yeah. The two relics are going to be very important. So they have a boat. So 
So this can block and die, and I feel like I need to block a lot of things. So if they both go for crows as well. So this is four, five, six. Four, five, six. I'm okay with taking six, to be honest, I guess. Kind of sucks for my next turn. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly... What I feel like... Correct. I don't know if I should block with Delver or not, but... Oh no, that's annoying again. <laughs> and they have a boat. Okay, so mystery card. Woo! Okay. This may be useful. I could tap anything or whatever, but I feel like this just needs to hit play. Minimuxes. <laughs> Okay, we got an expert, so that's pretty good. Expert can kill the creature with trample, so that's amazing. If I kill this and attack him, he kills Slacky, that pings for one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can take them to three, so that doesn't do it. Oh my god, that lightning bolt. Good thing that I know about that lightning bolt, though. So yeah, I do think I need to kill Mendros and bank on this Pashalik next turn, probably, to do something. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any good attacks as well, so I'm just going to pass the turn after this. Even though that I can do that in their turn. Uh, yeah, we do know they have a boat. Because they brainstorm with a... <laughs> Snoop in play. Uh, okay, we can kill a Delver. I could have waited for them to attack. That would probably be a smarter idea. And I'm not F16. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> oh. It's a fun game. Okay. So they have Delver and Bolt in their next card. So, uh That's gonna be so annoying against my next turn, that force. Alright, they're jamming. Um... I think I can take two. Yeah, we force the boat. Which I don't know if it's great for us or not, because I really want this special like this um sling to stay alive, but that's just not gonna happen, is it?
I mean, have they bolted now? That would be very good for them as well. Because I wouldn't be able to block and sack. So I, don't, I, I actually think that would be better for them. <laughs> hey! How's you doing, Patrick? You alright? I am on two muxes, so so hopefully we see it. If it's out back muxes, that would be the greatest. So he's getting rid of all their his one toughness creatures, which is the right play. Ah, oh, why didn't we draw muxes? Okay. Man. Problem with the special Ekmon is that it's not going to kill anything, so it's kind of a waste of mana. Lucky may get them, depending on how they attack. And Snoop Bait do something. Unless they don't see the lines. They don't see that this is like a combo. This is nine damage if everything resolves. It doesn't even get them. Uh, no, we're on just one sling. I I do think we lose the game if we make an expert. Hmm. Yeah. So I have to set this. Oh, that force of will. <clears throat> it's going to win them the game. Unless... Unless we top deck a Cavern. Maybe our best bet is just Matron and hope to top deck a Cavern. Right? I think so. I'm gonna go with it. Yeah. And I've wasted enough time in this game as well, Dad. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah, exactly that. Um, Oh, so they have another force on top of their deck. Not that it matters, anything. Uh, you... You... You, and I take five, I guess. I think I block like this because I can get prospectors to sack and deal more damage. So we may win. Oh no, yeah, only if we get a cover. If we get two slings, we would still have to top deck a cover. No, the cavern. Maybe they don't see it. Oh, I could have won. Oh, I, I, I threw the game away. Oh, shit. This is so on me.
uh, upkeep, I double waste. They cannot cast a force. And then my turn, I play War Chief and Lackey using all my mana. They go to one life, and I hope to drop. Yeah. Double waste. Otherwise, I don't have mana. Oh, that's why I need to keep on fighting and look for this thing. Oh, this was very cool, though. They would go to one, and any Prospector would win me the game. All right. That's just mean we, we're going to play more. Um, so they seem extremely graveyard dependent. So this looks good. Look at the top six. Yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> Oh, shoot. All right. I feel like I want the... The Kinesis. And I'm not so sure about the Chalices because of the... the because of Oko. So I actually feel like this... Six cards is probably what I want. Now what I don't want. Play lots of green creatures. I feel like we're always shaving one or two of these. God, do you need free cuts? I actually have no idea. Maybe I should take out one Muxus because, well, it is a six mana creature. I'm gonna try trimming a couple of these. Okay, I'll take out two of these because I want to leave a couple of war chiefs at least. Yeah, I like keeping mooks as well. I just don't think it's the right choice, unfortunately. Oh, I cannot believe I I could have won that game. I'm gonna keep this. They don't have removal turn one, they don't have removal turn two. I'll get a Muxus, right? <laughs> it has to be the correct play. I don't even care if it's right. Maybe I diluted the deck a bit too much with six cards. I love the pause whenever Moxus comes in. <laughs> it's like players are reading Moxus. Oh, okay. So that's game four. Uh, game four that Moxus won. And it could have won less game as well. So that would be game five if I hadn't punted. So it wasn't Mux's fault, it was my fault.
feel like I just run this back. I'll keep this. It's not the best, but I have good draws. I have a basic. I'm going to keep this. Should have been 3 0 now, boys. I mean, you would have to win a game on the draw, so. So maybe it's correct that we're playing this. Game on the draw. See, I lost game two on game one on purpose, just so we could have a game two with that happening. Brainstorm review, great. That gives us nothing. Uh, so that's a goif. I really like the not disrespecting expert. Uh, I think I need to develop my board. Uh, because Terrace has developed already. I think I'm going to play Snoop as well. I think I'm going to go with Snoop, because next turn I can play both War Marshal and Lackey. And he is a bit of a hindrance in the mana. Also... It, they have to choose between killing either Lackey or Snoop. Also, also, this is a kind of safe base test. Oh, Force! Okay, I was not expecting a Force will. So, they didn't attack because they thought I had Caverns and Munition Expert. So they brainstormed, so they may have days now. So I don't know if I play Lackey or War Marshal next turn first. I think if they play another threat, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, if they play the monkey, they're, they're gonna, the ape, they're gonna attack first. Okay, so they're gonna play the, the ape. This game's gonna be hard. I may very well just war chief. Right? I'm very happy that they're uh really um this is a house that I got from a place nearby. They sell so I got myself a nice little growler. Oh, right. So, yeah, with this in hand, I do feel like the Warchief is the best play. Like, I get punished by Bolt or Oko. But I feel like I'm losing this game if I take too long. And I cannot block Hooting Mandros. So they're going to attack with a Flying Creature and Mandros. So that's 7 damage to my face next turn. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to hope that not everything goes right for your opponent. And also, also, I could have been at 11. They just really respected my draws. I don't. I feel like them not attacking the first time could have been correct. The second time, I, I wasn't really a fan. Because dealing with a 4-4, four, four, it's much harder than dealing with a 1-2. If we draw land muxes, we can we can cast it next turn, uh, in two turns. 
that's a land. Uh, I kind of don't want to fetch. They. Yeah, very is a consideration. I don't f feel. I don't think I'm in the porting. I could do a boat test. Boat or forest test. So I'm just going to play Lackey of Caverns and see what they do. Because this ring, the, uh, the Mokoro Marshal is basically not doing anything. Uh, if I if I play, yeah, if I, uh, just respond, if I play uh, Mokoro Marshal, ringleader and pass if they have a and if pretend that they have a boat like this is really bad for me because this is trample what am i blocking this with like three four creatures and try to block it or do i try not to go below seven yeah below three life which is going to be very hard so so yeah i'm gonna start with this boy and then I'll attack both. They have Snapcaster in the deck as well, which is a bit annoying for display. But if they don't have anything, the the way the upside of this is really good. I, I, do, do you feel like casting Ringleader? I feel like just attacking with both lackeys is the highest upside, and I really think I need the, the highest upside right now. If they both war chief, I cannot cast it. But why? Why? Why do we think ringleader now is good? I want to get a, a ringleader to find me a removal spell so I can kill one of these creatures. I'm gonna try with my thing. Yes, if I ring leader into Expert the Lucky Trigger, uh, kill something. Uh, deal with the saves me mana. So if I ring leader into Expert, I can cast both Expert and Morgor Marshal. Oh, they have a boat. Okay. Warchief probably isn't blocking, so I probably miss two damage there. Oh, now it's a rip. Okay, nothing would have mattered. So I can go to one. <laughs> I feel like if I draw a gem palm, uh, I'm going to double block this. If I draw a gem palm or an expert, this can kill the Delver and I get some some turns. If it has another boat, then it has another boat. Or a Snapcaster. Nothing I can do. Yeah, I had another boat. Yeah, there, there was no way of winning through the third boat, the no, second boat. I mean, so if I didn't block there, I would have died.
Does this keep me alive? It doesn't, right? No, he doesn't. Okay. Well, what do you think? Should just not attack, or well, it didn't. It ended up really not mattering in the end. Hmm. You're saying maybe, maybe we should not even have attacked and just cast the ringleader i think if i just cast the ringleader yeah i don't attack because my tops suck because my hand sucks so i do feel like that yeah if i there's a consideration to that as well which probably make it my play worse is if ringleader is bad i don't want to attack and lose lackeys but it's fine this is all good got first match on the draw oh man we could have won game one it's fine all right this is sweet keep malimuja you know what malimuja plays well right Delver! Okay. Um, okay, I'm jamming this vial because if Delver doesn't flip, I want to kill it. Yeah, it's just frustrating that I could have won game one and that match then. Why do they always flip in brainstorms and they have a fetch afterwards? <laughs> it's unfortunate now that this makes me not want to. I guess I can play this power driver. Yeah, I don't really care about it. Oh yeah, that game one, like, and we fought like I was dead on the water, like, from turn four, you know? Ignoring Woko was, like, definitely the right choice in that thing. Okay. So they nag my vial, which kind of sucks. Um... I can just play Vio again, and if they play Brazen Borrower, I can try an Expert Delver. Unfortunately, I feel like I have to do that. Oh, actually, I can try to. I, I can just act, try to expert the, the Brazen Borrower. They're pretty much the same card. Oh, I could have expert in response to this as well. That would probably be a good play. Um, but maybe if they force this, I can do that. Now I'm more inclined of just playing Snoop because they tap to land, so they're not gonna have six power on board next turn attacking me. I should have done that post combat, though. But oh well. 
Yeah, <laughs> exactly what I mean. <laughs> what I mean, yeah. So if Power Driver dies, we missed one damage. Okay, didn't <sighs> made a difference. So they have a folk in hand, uh, and they have a third brainstorm to get that folk echo. Okay, no. <sighs> Arcanus is rough. I do feel like I killed this Dever though, because my life total is more important than cards now, because. If I get a cavern and the smokes has come down, it slides out. So I think I'm more. Oh my, that is so tempting. <laughs> I feel like. Oh god. I do not think wastelanding is correct. I'm just gonna go out right here and just say it. I feel like just expert pass is the correct play. The next turn I can violence noob with five um, creature, five mana in play. Yeah, yeah, it has to be the play, right? Yeah, but they're going to double cantrip next turn. So I don't think Mana Denial is an option anymore. If they have the Totsies, they have the Totsies. Yeah. Yeah, if they have the Totsies, they have the Totsies. <laughs> like, they don't need to cast it twice with Arcanus. They just need to cast it once. And I feel like two cantrips get them a Mana. I feel like I win more times from having good creatures on the top of my deck for its noob next turn. It does train their mana a little bit more. So they cannot play a cantrip and Brazen Borer. I don't know. It's a rough turn. If they have a Wasteland as well, that is very bad for me. So yeah, I, uh, that's another argument. Yeah, uh, but one wasteland, and I if I waste and then they waste, I go to just free mana next turn. I really want, I really feel like we need this noob to be better. I'm gonna go with this and see what happens. Force. Okay. Okay. Now that kind of sucks. <laughs> well, the the wasteland. Well, the wasteland. The the wasteland argument still. It still matters because I could still have wastelanded. Man, in this game's like missing the coverns is just so brutal. Okay, this is sweet. We have a wasteland as well. Oh, we have a fetchland as well, I mean. So I think I start over here. No! <laughs> Not you! No, no, 
not like this. Um, I'm dead next turn, basically, right? They attack me for a six. If they have a boat, I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> ah, this is just so sad. All right. Ah, uh, one more mana would be fantastic. Oh, we can actually grab a gem palm if this resolves. And if it doesn't resolve, we're not necessarily dead. Black mana. Push that. Okay. That doesn't change anything. I cannot kill a chemist. Oh, they cannot play Brazen Borrower this turn as well. So that is very good. Also... How insane it is to do a day's test now. No, we can do a day's test this turn and then next turn play Wasteland and um, Muxus. So I have an opening to see if their last card is a day's. It's rough. Uh, If it is this, Bolt doesn't even kill me. Okay. <sighs> what does this... Oh, they have a brainstorm! <laughs> For a brainstorm. Okay, I feel like we kill Delver. They can really possibly attack profitably. Oh no, if it Oh, uh, they may have a boat now though. If they have a boat and I tar I don't know. <laughs> I we're not going to die next turn in the way either way. And I'm not attacking. No, if if they have Because I don't die either way. But yeah, that does make sense. I feel like I triple block here. Oh, this game is awesome. If they have both, I don't want to reach in my face. And maybe knowing that I have these cards in play, maybe they, they wouldn't keep uh, days. They do have a boat. Okay, so I lost a 1-1, one, one, which is fine. Like, they were going to boat something either way. Uh... Now, I'm inclined to leaving this at 2, so if I get a Matron from Muxus, I can Violin an Expert. I think that makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah, let's call that... yeah, smart. <sighs> Cavern? Okay. Okay, we gotta go for it. Oh my god, oh my god, the tension! Uh... <laughs> Roll the drums. Resolve. Yes. Oh, cards. Yes. Okay. It's annoying if I get a war chief now because, yeah, <laughs> I got a war chief. Um. Because they would be dead to it. 
Um, oh yeah, we can kill Borrower. We can even kill our chemist, which is very sweet. To our chemist because we basically just lose to double bolt. Right? <sighs> I think so, yeah. Oh, if they have it, I would be so sad. Okay, maybe they have one boat so far. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pee for a sec, for a bit. Was that seven? Maybe, maybe, oh man. Maybe this was right though, because then they would need triple boat, no? So just quickly, what do we do over here? Oh. One, two, three, four. That's it, right? And I do think that Saudi, you know, one of these outs is probably correct against that kind of deck. Like this is fine. Do you, um, you want a Wheeler? Maybe they have. That would be the trader. I kind of want to leave the prospectors. It's mostly for. Uh, testing purposes. 
but I can go down to two and keep two Lord Chiefs. Lord Chiefs are good. The, the deal about uh, going Vile up to three, there are three Lord Chiefs in the deck and three Matrons, so maybe, yeah. Oh well. This is not a keep. They kept seven. No, oh well. Also, also, like, um, maybe just getting the. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, not having caverns have really hindered me these games. Um,. If I kill... Jesus Christ. So I feel like we could have won that game. If we kill a uh, Brazen Borrower as well, instead of... Fingy? How's it called? Narcanist? Oh, there it is. Uh, I feel like sandbagging it, though. Wasn't I at seven life? I'm gonna send back that. Oh, he had double bolt. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, that Totsies is going to be rough in his graveyard. I feel like the highest upside is having this this war chief leaves to to stay alive because they showed at least before they showed so far that they didn't have removal so in this case if they want to attack I may be inclined to block oh game one was insane game one was really hard and again. Again, we were in a position that we could have just lost ages ago. Oh, they have a Blade Engineer. Okay, I don't think that's going to be the case with this one. I think this one we're just going to straight out die. Yeah, uh, we did a, what, a chalice, probably. Yeah, with us, like, if we had uh, the cover in turn one, maybe, maybe this was a win. No, they were landing now. I don't think there's a way we can win. Oh my. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is this is disappointing because I wanted to get at least a game a, met, a game free. Because we should have won that one, and we should have won one of the games. So I'm pretty sure. Like, we're just playing it slightly not optimally yet, because it's much harder to play this. 
uh, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say it's harder per se, but we're not used to play this list as we are of playing regular goblins. Louis CBR, so Delver again, yeah? Are we just keeping a vial? I feel like I would keep this. He's probably streaming as well if people want to go and watch like his side of things. <laughs> Uh, just resolve, just resolve one time, one time, one time. Oh, this is gonna get countered. He's thinking. Fuck. Hmm. Black source? No. Okay, we're screwed. Maybe this was a bad keep, but at least we're going to see a sweet game three with me on the play, well on the draw. Oh, not even a... Oh, man. This is, this is punishing, bud. Not much you can do about it. I'm not going to attack not because I don't want to trade. But mostly because if his creature didn't flip, I didn't want to go to 18 life, which is a multiple of three. He was not going to trade, so he would take one damage. And I don't think this is a game where that's going to matter. Double ponder, not shuffle, and then shuffle. Yeah, maybe we go for the matron this turn. So in case we draw a jump home in a couple of turns, we can actually do something. It's just annoying that that, that play loses to us to a daze. Well, not doing anything is, is bad against everything as well. Uh, 6, 8, 13 black sources, I think. So, 20, 16, minus 3. Yeah, so 13 black. That is true, but that's a play that if they don't have any any permission, um, I would be able to have two creatures in play in two turns. Okay, that's, so that's a creature. <laughs> Let's just draw it then. Don't have to matron for it. Okay. So now Black Source and we're in the game. Like, 13 black sources is plenty. Uh, 12 of that mire. Uh, we, we can draw a lot of good things. Yeah, you said our last opponent was in stifle as well, Eli. Oh my god. Uh, I 
Oh, if they don't have boats, they don't attack, I guess. Uh, play matron. It's probably worse. I think I just attack this because I actually don't mind them blocking it, and I may want my other two creatures to block. Oh well. Oh, e aí, Mauro? Certinho? Ah, uh, a gente começou bem. 2-0, a gente tá 2-2 agora, perdendo pra dois Delvers, e foi bem erro nosso. <risos> dois jogos, perdemos de 1-2, um, duas vezes, por erro do jogador. Então, I'm really liking the deck. I was... <sighs> I'm really liking the list, though, even though the losses. I feel like it was more... Oh, I don't have any... any thing prepared to show you deck lists and whatnot. Uh, okay, no black source yet. I feel like I made from four jump on then. No. Why why would we draw a covering of souls? Against the deck with counter spells, Eli. Come on, think about it. There's the stifle <laughs> Anyway. Just, just pause the turn. Can... I'll show you the deck when I'm sideboarding again. Or after this match. Uh, this, this is going to be the last match. That Delver in flipping. So he has at least two lands and or creatures. You said we can't really win this so many other times as well, Eli. With a little faith. little faith. But I don't think we can win this. <laughs> like, if they have a boat, we're screwed. But I need to jam palm here. Oh! I can, I can cast Muxus. Should I just cast Muxus, chat? Is that is that the right play? They show they don't. They, they, I I I. Don't. <laughs> like the the other option is having to. Yeah, I I just. Oh, it sucks. I have three of the experts in my hand and one of the sack outlets and two of the sack outlets. So I have one more sack outlet. There's no way I can kill his creatures, but maybe. Some power driver war, sh war cheap shenanigans. I just have all the best cards <laughs> in my hand. Uh, it has to be done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to flip. War Chief and a lot of stuff, and they they cannot have a counter spell. Ah, man, so sad, so sad. Okay, a cover in this game would have been fantastic. Or you know, a black source. <laughs> So he's in the stifle. They usually play ancient grudges, but I mean ancient grudge singular. So I feel like this is very good. I feel like I want the relics and the pyrokinesis. I feel like on the play this should be the configuration. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I'm 
unfortunately, I am citing one of them out. Uh, Pyrokinesis is really good against Goyf and Ape as well, isn't it? I'll, I'll see my cuts, but I do like the card a lot, because I do feel like maybe we should, against that version, side roughly how we do against the Grixis. And do something like this, because it, if it doesn't have a Vio involved, uh, Goyf, it's gonna stay as a 3-4, maybe a 4-5, then it's easy to do one damage. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna go with these for the play. Maybe on the drive, reconfigurate something. Um... Well, Stronghold is good regardless of Muxus, like it's good with... Okay, that is a keep. It's good with Snoop, and it's just a good card in Goblins. Just put your Ringleader or whatever on top of your deck again. I mean, it can be annoying sometimes, it can be not great, but... Uh, Stronghold has only many games where nothing else would. So they're probably killing this. Yeah, so I'm just slamming Snoop next turn. And hope they don't have a second removal. Uh, I feel like that's better than porting. You say they only play one. I kind of want to fetch because they play Stifles. But then uh, fetch is really good with Snoop if we don't have anything on top of the deck. I feel like if you play Snoop, they they they. I'm I'm maybe it's correct, but I'm not gonna fetch right now for Sands because they need to kill the Snoop and hold Mana up for activation. Oh, I'm not gonna have six because I can deal with damage, I guess. Yeah, that is true. I do I do feel like maybe we won't because we're on the play, we're not gonna lose this game because of uh because of mana issues. So I feel like, for instance, now I fetch, and if I hit an expert or a matron or a war chief, that is pretty much amazing. If I don't, I can create a maker delver. All right, nothing happened. Um, I don't have to create a Maker Dover right now as well. I can, I, yeah, because they play Mandroves, I kind of want to start relicking. Because otherwise they, they can just play Mandroves next turn and start blocking me. Uh... Yeah, I lose a lot of mana doing this, but I feel like it's okay. Are you just banking that 
Snoop and Sling can probably win the game. All right, I'm going to try to jam my cards and see what happens. I get punished by a lot of things doing this, which annoys me, but it's really good upside. It's going to flip and brainstorm. No, okay. Okay, I'm happy I played this relic. Uh, this is a bit frustrating. I feel like right now I should port and hold relic activation up so he cannot attack with Arcanist. That makes sense. I could just get an expert or a jump bomb even in this situation. I don't think alone the Kenneth is gonna win this game. I I feel like I'm gonna wait for a turn, even though I can play this matron for free. It's a bit annoying with uh, Snoop in play. And... Well, I can see the top card first, I guess. Brainstorm. I called it last turn. I don't like attacking. I like if they attack, I can kill their stuff. They're gonna blow up relics. There's a an ancient grudge, a braid. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do against braid. Yeah, it's annoying that we can't we can pop relic now. I mean we have to. Because we ported. Maybe I shouldn't have ported. But I think I need to crack. Oh! I did not block. Okay. Alright. I no 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 don't don't jump through my turn. <gasps> okay. <laughs> hmm. I feel like getting this slinging down and matroning with two colored mana up. Oh, I should have attacked then. Oh well, I'm I'm just playing terribly. <laughs> I'm just thinking way too much about things that don't need to be think about. One of the two damage that we missed, I I would have traded for blocking one of his damage, but I I just have sixed it. <laughs> Need to get more used to playing online again. I'm not doing stupid stuff. Hmm. 
Oh shit. 100% they have another wasteland. Another uh, force of will. They have a force of will. Well, that means we cure Kenneth, doesn't it? Yeah, why don't... Why did they brainstorm with Volcanic? Okay. So we clear their board and we can double board. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to matron? I think. Or clock's not that. That fast now. If you attack the port and they actually have a boat now after the, this this brainstorm, I cannot kill Delver in response. Well, attack's gonna happen either way. But yeah, I, I feel like that may be a winning line. If they... If they do anything to punish this... Okay, so that's not a land. Oh no, that is a land. Oh shit. <laughs> they tricked us. So what's this? They don't have a boat? Yeah, I feel like playing Delver, uh, playing Munition Expert to the upkeep, and then porting green. Yeah. <laughs> you like, gotta stop thinking the same things that I think. Well, they have a force, so it does not really matter. Now, now the clock has gone a little wary. Do we still port? And if they have... I uh, feel like we still port, right? Green. If they have any creature and not a land, porting green is the right choice. Resin borrow or something? That shows that they pretty much don't have anything. I'm inclined of sacking this so they cannot Resin borrow here again. I don't think we'll be playing this. They go to. Yeah, it fizzles Petty Theft. 
which is pretty sweet. And I don't think they're gonna have anything else this turn, at least. Missing a land drop, really, like, not one land drop, like, it's gonna be turn eight. Missing a few land drops really hurt us. All right, that's sweet. I feel like let's stack first. Like now, this matron can come down because that's damage on board, uh, and I look for a uh, Mogwar Marshal. Because a creature, if they play a creature, it doesn't matter anymore. And I, I, I want to use my mana. We're one short of lethal. I feel like I even played this Prospector. We'll see how they... So this is probably more Glamour show. So yeah, if I Prospector and play Morgor Marshall, it's gonna be free for damage. It doesn't kill them. Yeah. That as well. Okay. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna just get Morgor Marshall. Probably is the best payout. I can get Pashlik Mons. Yeah. So how do we play around boat? To just get a gem palm? That's the only card that plays around boat. It doesn't play around days right now. It's unfortunate, but we don't have many other options, do we? God, this is still game two. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go for this. Okay, resolved. So they need double boat. Okay. <laughs> I like thinking about stuff. Get Muxus. <laughs> play Muxus next turn. <laughs> okay. Slightly annoying. I feel like I need to jump on. And if it bolts, one of my creatures is going to eat boat. All right, I like your play more. Second so token, go to seven. My turn, I can jump on them. Sweet. And I have a free freeing play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes much more sense. If I draw a land, I can cost this matron. No, I got a muxus, which I can cost. But. Uh, well, let's see. I can tap his land. Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, them having only one, so uh, they would have to use it that main phase. <sighs> okay, I do need to play quite faster. They do play with Oko as well, so I'm wondering if I want to leave this chalices in or not. We're going to run six minutes, fine, I'll just have six all the time. I just feel like we need a Pyroblast and a draw to kill the Delver, and maybe the Oko. Okay, let's do this. Exciting times. Uh, get a vial. Okay, I'll keep. Yeah, I could cut a snoop for driver. Could have gone for waste here. I'm just going to play all my cards. I don't think wasting matters because they probably drew another. I'm going to just jam everything into daze. If they daze. If they daze everything. Then they don't develop their board. And I got two matrons and quite a lot of lands. I don't know. I'm in five minutes. I'm in F6 mode. Stop thinking. I just didn't want to waste because, um, other than Stifle, they missed the trigger, and it's more likely that they got... Maybe I should have just have fetched. It's more likely that they kept Wasteland. Is this not going to die? Okay, so now I can I can Wasteland them and kill Delver, so now I like that. Right? And then next turn I can play Lucky with Days Protection. Unfortunately, this has no. I can do it his turn still. Yeah. Okay. Cannot stifle everything, bruv. Um, it's annoying. Okay, they don't have the ape, which is really good for us. If they had stifle and daze this turn as well, that's going to be annoying. But this lackey needs to come into play. Ah, oh, missed the window. Okay. <laughs> gotta gotta hit the windows to 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 fetch because of stifle. So they a hundred percent have a creature now, Horonoko. Arcanist. A braid. Ape as well. Ape is annoying. Uh, I don't think I have time to play around days. So I'm just going to jam ma Matron. Yeah, and then next turn I can play Pashalik Mons and just... Don't know, block with everything if I want to.
two cards in hand. Two cards in hand. I was going to say it again. Two cards in hand. Now one. Because one of them is a tropical. And I got a goyf now. <sighs> okay. I don't think I win this. Not with these draws, at least. Not even a one drop to go with anything. Mm. Still have to matron. I could get a lackey here. <laughs> the waste on turn one. I I'm going to try lackey. Oh, of course. No, oh, of course. All right. Um, if you think that Hawaii's turn one would have won me this, uh, I'm not really sure. But uh, it is just unfortunate that <laughs> just had like the right answers for everything not enough zero cards in hand hmm all right so this is where we're at i kind of like the list i haven't played against anything where these cards main deck are extremely crucial so I don't I haven't missed them all that much yes I can say that definitely liked having both muxes in the main I, I should try that for a bit longer I think it's worth pursuing it a bit more or maybe change it afterwards uh, two rings feels okay with this yeah, it's just the snoops. I want to try the snoops a bit more. So I'll, I'll probably play a couple more leagues with four snoops. If I'm not super impressed, I can see myself cutting one or two of them. Uh, I don't think I adjust the mana base because of that. Maybe. Uh, I have tried Harbinger and Kiki. And... I cut them for second Muxus and fourth Snoop. I've liked Kiki more than I like Harbinger. I like Muxus more than I like Kiki. And I don't think the combo is worth it. It's just too many moving pieces in a deck that we don't need that if you're going to win. Like, Muxus is just a better combo. Thank you <laughs> for watching. And I'll catch you ours soon. Uh, yeah, but. Snoop has been good. It hasn't been great. It was great in one game so far. So I'm definitely going to play at least one more league with four of them and see how that goes. Uh, if I don't particularly like them, I also wouldn't know what to, to put instead of them. If I cut a couple of snoops, I can probably cut a war chief as well. And I may want the third ringleader. So it would probably be something like this. Probably this guy. And another one of these. So I guess if I'm cutting down on on Snoops and Warchief, this is what I was gonna, I would be. I am definitely gonna play still a couple of leagues with four Snoops. Just like need to play the card to know how it actually feels.
yeah so i have like all the top end in the world to get Moksuskiki. i mean it's not unheard of but don't think it's what i'm gonna do right now yeah but i i'm i'm still gonna try this list that i met and see how that goes i'll let you guys know when i stream again and if you want any modern as well oh i can actually make the the oh i put the snips already okay so this is the, the modern deck which i'm so excited to play with because it has all the mana the prospector vials fr four frog tossers and four war chiefs for all the discounts in the world uh four mogor marshals to go with the prospectors and then it plays a key combo because in modern i feel like you can play that and you don't have um Chirjan, uh and you don't have muxus and it has a couple of krenko as well because krenko it's just really good with all this haste and discount that we get and also it happened a, a few times during testing that you can just like play snoop and then you have Krenko on top, you just tap in your upkeep and then cast Krenko with haste and then like you tap in the turn, tap your upkeep, snoop, so that's times four your goblins already and then you cast Krenzo, uh, cast Krenko and tap it again. So you, you have eight times the amount of goblins you had at the end of your opponent's turn, which is insane. So I really 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 want to play with this so i'll probably do that after i've tested legacy a bit longer but yeah thank you for watching i will be seeing you guys next time yeah hopefully cheerios i do remember how to do this